talk about enclosing and commanding techniques. So enclose and command in the Catalan society we call all um, close quarter techniques with a hybrid broadsword and also with other weapons. Um, they are in this category um, enclose and command. So this means every time with a single broadsword when I can grab the weapon hand of my opponent, control him and use my sword or my basket hilt to finish him. Um, with the touch and close and commanding techniques um, even more important than with the single sword because it's a much more aggressive style, it's much more um, offensive than single broadsword which is pretty much a defensive style um, and we use the touch, the flat of the touch and the edge to control both the sword and the shield of our opponent um, when we are close enough. So similar to our last video on uh, striking with a, with a touch, edge and the basket hilt in closer quarters, um, also with binding techniques uh, and closing techniques with a touch, uh, you should not rush things and you should not be too enthusiastic about using it. Because there are counters to it and if you rush in too quickly and you don't uh, judge the distance properly, uh, probably, uh, probably you can you can just uh, fall into a trap or be countered uh, easily with a sword, as you will see in the later lessons we show. So this is the rule of thumb: keep it in mind not to rush things and not be too over enthusiastic of using uh, and closing and commanding techniques with a touch. So one technique is called the bind, and it's quite similar to what we will do with the single broadsword. When the bite happens, it, it can happen in, 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 uh, different, uh, uh, in different situations. I can um, invite my opponent uh, to, to fall into my trap. For example, normally standing in kind of Thomas Page's outside guard or in an open guard. And uh, I lower my touch a bit and uh, give him a reason to cut to my head. The most important thing now is we break the rule of parrying on the shield side with the touch, uh, but we step in and parry with the sword in kind of a high inside guard. Of course with the support of our touch. And as soon as we catch the blade, as soon as we have the binding, we use the touch to um, get his sword and shield out of the way using the traversing footwork to come over here and cut to his neck. This will be more obvious when I show it with the training partner. Of course, I can also do kind of an invitation by using a little bit of a weird inside guard, just as Thomas Page shows it in a different lesson. And when he cuts to my uh, outside with a cut number two, I step in, parry with my sword, on the right side of course now, and now use my shield edge and the flat of my shield to bind him and come over again. Of course, I can use the thrust and everything to, uh, to finish him. It is important to use the shield um, with a lot of pressure. First the shield edge and then the flat of the shield to suppress any counter. So I want to bind my opponent's shield and sword arm at the same time. So he cannot use anything of this. And this is a really important thing. Another enclosing and commanding technique with browser and touch is called the lift. In that case, I don't use my touch to push his weapons, his shield and sword to the side, but this time I want to raise it. Okay, so this is an example. Uh, maybe I invite him lower both tools I have, so you want to cut me on the head. I step in, I parry in a crosswise, uh, in a crosswise way using shield and touch at the same time or just uh, 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 the touch and sword at the same time or just the sword and then I bring my touch under his sword arm, under his sword hand and arm and his touch to lift him up and now I pull back my own weapon and the quickest way here is a thrust to, uh, to the belly. Uh, to finish it. This is called uh, the lift. There are of course a lot of possible variations but 
these two are the most important. Um, you can do all kinds of binds with your sword first. So, for example, if it's thrust to your belly, you stand an open guard, it's thrust to your belly, and then use this kind of outside half hanger to parry your way to thrust, which is a good way um, to parry the thrust, and then you step in and use your touch to suppress his counter and thrust him or cut him. But it's still the same, con uh, still the, uh, still the same um, concept like, like the bind. So you can, you can just play around with these two uh, options. So are there binds on the, on the shield side, so like that I'm turning from here? You can do that, but I would not call it really a bind. This is more like, like, like a parry and a counter cut. But of course, when you fight left-handed fighter against right-handed fighter, then the concepts change a bit because the sides are switched. But this will be covered in a separate video on facing left-handed fighters with bronze open.